Good morning, folks. I couldn't possibly hope to explain in a two-minute news why this article is important. All I can say to you is, don't take the mark, folks. The German president has officially stepped down. Uh, this is seen as a blow to Angela Merkel, who uh, handpicked this man and then became shrouded in controversy. In northern Auckland at the airport, they discovered a radioactive airplane yesterday. They're still trying to figure out where the radiation came from. We'll have updates on that. The drought that we've had in south central United States and Mexico is done in about face. They're actually under a flood warning today. This is a pretty good article about the cold weather that has been slamming Western Russia and uh, pretty much all of Europe. Uh, it goes into Arctic Oscillation, which we've been uh, talking about for a few months now. Now that the geomagnetic instability has quieted down, you can see here on the flux gate magnetometer we are down to quiet space weather conditions. This PC1 pulsations you see here on the induction magnetometer could be indications of magnetic uh, repair phase. You can see the solar wind speed is on the steady decline. We can expect all of this ambiently quiet space weather to continue for maybe another 24 hours or so, uh, maybe less until a solar wind stream from that dark coronal hole hits us. We are really uh, juiced up. Uh, and this is a surprise considering the fact that we had a very uh, strong lack of ionization yesterday. We'll have to keep an eye on this. Um, but as I said, folks, we do have that dark coronal hole that is just past the center point in the sun, so the solar wind that's going to be coming at Earth is on the way. I don't know if you noticed that disturbance just to the south of it. Um, it is a pretty good bit of instability, although there's not a whole lot of ejecta associated with it. As you know, the sunspot number is very low. Uh, we do have one active region that we might want to keep an eye on uh, turning over the northeastern limb right now, but even it looks like it has a way to go uh, in terms of development. Other than that, folks, uh, we have a couple of magnetic filaments writhing around that we might want to keep an eye on. Um, definitely going to keep an eye on some of the developing active regions, although right now there is nothing labeled more dangerous than a beta. And uh, in about 24 hours or so, let's watch out for a coronal hole stream. Be safe, everyone.